What is up, everybody? This is Double Rhino back here with a new video. This time, Marvel Legends series, the X Men Wave, Marvel's Tri Sentinel. And here we got with us is Magneto in his white attire from the House of X um, comic series. I haven't read any of this, so I don't know anything behind the storyline. I just know I've always wanted a Magneto. Um, like a newer one, updated one, because the one I have right now is from Toy Biz, and I kind of missed out on the uh, Jim Lee style um, Magneto. So here he is. Apparently in this uh, uh, series, Magneto forges an unlikely partnership with Xavier to pursue the softly common goal to protect all mutants, of course. And of course, the same artist on all three sides of the packaging. As you can see there, the House of X Magneto, boom, and here we go. It looks like he comes with the uh, the Tri Sentinel heads. It looks like so the three heads of the Sentinel. Yep, there we go. Just had a look there on the back of the packaging as well. He does come with not just two interchangeable hands, but a total of three interchangeable hands. Looks like part grab, closed fist, and hands that can hold things. I lost for words. Words. Words, yeah, words with friends. There we go. Anyways, without further ado, let's get this guy cracked open. And here he is, Magneto, out of the packaging. He is pretty darn cool, I'm not going to lie. I dig the white costume and silver paint map on him. Um, as you can see, there's really nothing much to Magneto from the House of X uh, series. He's pretty much just all basic uh, white. A uh, little few hints of black that we got here in the stripes and a little bit in the belt here. Of course, he is an X-Men in this series, so he does have the X-Men logo with the red and X in there, so that's really cool. Helmet is pretty much silver. Uh, costume is all white. Cape is all white. Silver straps for the cape itself. Of course, his gloves and gauntlet are silver. Uh, white hands, so nothing too crazy on uh, Magneto we got here. And of course, got some black back there as well. So it kind of just goes all the way around here. Of course, the cape does come off if you choose so, but we'll just leave it on him for right now. Let me just pop that back right in there. Come on now. Boom, and back in. Cool. So like I said, nothing really too crazy. This is what happens sometimes when you just get a repainted figurine. They kind of just either change the paint applications a little bit or they kind of dull it down and kind of just say all right here we go hasbro's just here for the money well with articulation here we go so the head can move down this far and look up this oh snap and there goes the head pop goes the dynamite anywho so he can look up this far look down that far that's pretty good hey can go side to side Full on 360. Now the arms do have limited movement because of the cape, but it can go this far, this far down. Can go 360 if you choose to take the cape off. Bicep swivel 360. Double jointed elbows. Does not move at the um, the forearm area, but he does have a wrist that can go 360 up and down, move side to side. So ain't that just dandy. He does have an ab crunch, single ab crunch. Can look down this far. Can look up this far. Hey, yo, man, you got some beef. Anywho, he does have a waist swivel as well. Kind of limited rotation because of the belt that's attached to it. Legs can go out this far. Can go out that far and back this far. Very limited back rotation. Uh, he does have a thigh swivel that can go 360, so he can get some of that black in there as well. From behind the leg, double jointed knee. He does have a cast swivel, that's really cool, I like how they add that in there. Does have an ankle pivot, and a foot swivel, yeah, dude, look at that. The foot does go up this far, and down this far, and does have the good old ankle pivot movement that we got going on there. So articulation-wise, it's pretty good, especially for having this um, thick uh, plastic cape that we got going on him there. But outside of that, he does come with some accessories. 
And with his accessories, he comes with two different interchangeable hands. The Magneto hands that are the forces. Oh! Has two pairs of those. And he has the full-on closed fist for both hands, the left and right. Of course, this is really cool, you know, just it's really basic, but they still kind of keep that texture in there of all the knuckles and all that from the glove itself. And it just pops out just like so. Just pop it out. It's really easy. Nothing too crazy. Boom. There's Magneto in all of his glory. That's really cool. But his other accessories that he does come with are the Tri-Sentinel heads, which I know nothing about. I just know Sentinels are the things that try to kill all the mutants. Because, you know... Oh, and there goes one on the floor. That's really cool. Uh, so here's one of the three Sentinel heads, besides one that just fell. I do love this shiny purple. That's really cool. Oh, man. Honestly, I just wish we had a, Sentinel, a new Sentinel Build-A-Figure. I know they released one not too long ago that was like a petition to sign it or whatever just to get the Sentinel. But I want a an actual Sentinel bath. Like when I saw this, I was like, man, bring back the true Sentinel, the real Sentinel. I want perfection. Yeah, but nothing too crazy in there. Uh, the eyes are just another flat purple. Kind of wish they kind of made it a little bit red in there. Some kind of like the, you know, the old Sentinels are. But nothing really too crazy with those. Um, this Magneto is kind of just a basic repaint Magneto. Nothing really added on or anything changed besides just the the belt. But that's pretty much it for Magneto. But other than that, guys, I'll see you in next time's video. This has been Double Rhino. Pa-pa-pa-pa-peace.